everyone welcome back to another session on dentistry and more so today we have tooth model analysis so a model analysis is like the study of dental cast which helps to study the occlusion and dentition from all three dimensions and analyze the degree and severity of malocclusion and also we can derive the diagnosis and also plan the treatment so there are a lot of advantages for model analysis because we get a three dimensional records of patient's dentition which is clinically it is very difficult to obtain uh, and occlusion can be visualized from the lingual aspect and it provides a permanent record for intermaxillary relationship and also helps to motivate the patient as they can visualize the treatment prognosis we can take before and after cast and we can motivate the patient and also we can transfer the patient to another uh, dentist if we have the models with us so that also is a very uh, crucial thing in uh, model and uh, now we'll start with the model analysis so we have various model analysis some are for permanent teeth and some are for uh, deciduous teeth so the permanent uh, teeth model analysis the most important one is the bolton analysis then we have pons analysis uh, ashley how analysis carries analysis arch perimeter analysis whereas mixed dentition analysis we have moyes analysis and tanaga johnson analysis now let's start our analysis that is bolton's analysis it is a ratio between mesio distal width of maxillary and mandibular teeth bolton he has calculated a constant proportion so he found out that a constant proportion is present between upper and lower dentition when the occlusion was perfect and that proportion is 91.3 percentage and 77.2 percentage it is actually determining the tooth size discrepancy between the mandibular and maxillary teeth and checking by checking the mesio distal width of maxillary and mandibular teeth so according to bolton he says that the mandibular mesio distal dimension will be of 91.3 percentage of maxilla molar to molar that is 6 to 6 and canine to canine it will be 77.2 percentage that is if the maxillary teeth are 100 the mandibular molar to molar will be 91.3 percentage and mandibular canine to canine will be 77.2 percentage so that is a idealistic ratio so how do we calculate this ratio so two ratios are put forward in by bolton in his analysis that is overall ratio and anterior ratio so overall ratio is the calculation is sum of mandibular 12 teeth and sum of maxillary 12 teeth so we divide mandibular 12 by maxillary 12 that is the mesio distal dimension and we take percentage by multiplying 100 so you can see that it is molar to molar left molar to right molar and left molar to right molar in maxillary and mandibular too so ideally speaking that should be 91.3 percentage that means the mandible is lesser compared to the maxilla we know that mandibular dimensions are lesser and it is 91.3 percentage so mandible is coming here in numerator and maxillary in denominator so if the calculated value is greater than 91.3 percentage you know that this is more that is mandibular tooth material is excess because this is a numerator and if it is less than 91.3 percentage that is the calculated value is less than 91.3 percentage so this will be more that is maxillary tooth material is excess because this is in denominator so overall ratio is calculated from left molar to right molar on maxillary and mandibular tooth so how do we calculate the excess material the excess material the sum of maxillary 12 if it is maxilla maxillary excess we need to calculate in this form and mandibular excess we need to calculate from this form since maxilla is excess it should be uh, mandible mesio distal width should be subtracted from maxilla because maxilla is more so sum of maxillary 12 minus sum of mandibular 12 divided by 91.3 into 100 so we get the maxillary 
excess material. So if mantible or excess material, that is if the ratio is greater than 91.3, we should take subtract the maxillary 12 from mantibular 12. So all I am speaking about mesiodistal dimension. So sum of mantibular 12 minus sum of maxillary 12 divided by 100 into 91.3 percent. So we get the excess material. So this is how we calculate the excess material. So what is the importance of this understanding the excess material? So we can do extraction on mantibular teeth or maxillary teeth to achieve uh, proper interdigitation or overjet or overbite and alignment of the teeth. So whereas anterior ratio, so anterior or overall ratio, we can calculate the excess material and we can do extraction or uh, other changes in maxillary or mantibular teeth. So anterior ratio, the same thing we apply on 6 teeth. So here we applied on 12 teeth, that is molar to molar, 6 to 6. Here we are doing it on canine to canine on both upper and lower teeth, that is canine to canine. Anterior ratio is sum of mantibular 6 divided by sum of maxillary 6 into 100. We get 77.2 ideally. So if it is greater than 77.2, since it is a numerator, the mantibular teeth, the mantibular excess material, and if it is less than 77.2, the maxillary tooth material is excess. So the same way we can calculate the excess material, that is sum of maxillary 6, that is mesiodistal dimension, minus sum of mantibular 6 divided by 77.2 into 100, if the maxillary excess is there. So always think that. If maxillary excess should be found out, this will come first because this is more and mantibular material is subtracting from the maxilla. So if mantibular excess is there, this will come first and maxillary 6 mesiodistal dimension will be subtracted from mantibular 6. So divided by 100 into 77.2 if mantibular material is excess. So that's how we calculate the excess material in anterior ratio and in overall ratio. So this is basically understanding the tooth size discrepancy between maxillary and mantibular teeth. The two uh, ratio or the two percentage is to remember the 91.3 percentage and 77.2 percentage in case of 12 teeth and this is not 12 teeth that is 6 teeth. So this is 6 teeth. That is canine to canine, this is molar to molar. So that is about ball sense analysis, which is a permanent tooth analysis uh, put forward by Bolton. So I'll come up with uh, uh, another analysis in my next video. Thank you.